People don't want to be around cigarette smoke. But when that weed comes out, they're like, ooh, where's that coming from? You know, so it's a completely different time now. It is. It is. It's a different time. But, you know, it still comes with great responsibility. (laughs) This is Rebranding Cannabis, presented by Wick and Mortar. So you played for the Sonics. Um, you played for who else? Um, I played for Sonics. I played for Cleveland. Cleveland, yep. And I also played for Portland Trailblazers. And <laughs> I also played for Orlando Magic. So. So it's uh, you're a you're a trailblazing. Yeah, a trailblazing Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, um, yeah. I had good experience on both teams. Uh, you know, um, playing in Seattle. Obviously, I still live here. This. Seattle means a lot to me, the, the, and the people here in Seattle means a lot to me. Uh, this is where I learned how to become a millionaire at, so this is where I still live at. My wife's from here, my kids are from here, um, and uh, it's a good city. Yeah, it's, it is. I mean, I remember when I got started, it was, gosh, like 2008, and then I started my company in 2009. Mm-hmm. You know, we were the very first cannabis-focused branding and marketing firm in the world, and I remember uh, getting paid in you know, weed and cash. Right. And then trying to sell that weed. I was a terrible drug dealer. I talked too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, your mouth is your biggest strong point in this game. I know, you know just not in drug dealing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so you're opening up a dispensary in downtown Seattle called Kemp's Cannabis. And I just went and toured this thing and it's awesome. Tell me yeah. about that. It's been a lot of work, a lot of work. I work with a lot of good people and they put a lot of time into it. So uh, I think... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm involved with Main Street Marijuana, and I think they've done a great job with uh, helping me do business here in Seattle. Mm-hmm. We're starting up very soon, and I think we have a pretty good team together. But we work together and able to uh, make some progress. So when you, when you got into cannabis, was it just because you were a consumer? or No, no, not just because I was a consumer. Actually, um, you know, one of the reasons I got into the cannabis business, there was no black owners in Seattle. So I love the fact that you said that, you know, the cannabis industry definitely lacks diversity. Mm-hmm. You know, getting into the cannabis business comes with great responsibility. So, uh, you know, that's the first thing that you have to be able to handle. And outside of that, I think the, the sky's the limit. 